Shrimp paste or shrimp sauce is a fermented condiment commonly used in Southeast Asian, Northeastern South Asian and Southern Chinese cuisines. It is primarily made from finely crushed shrimp or krill mixed with salt, and then fermented for several weeks. Some versions are in its wet form such as those in Vietnam and other versions are sun-dried and either cut into rectangular blocks or sold in bulk. It is an essential ingredient in many curries and sauces. Shrimp paste can be found in most meals in Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam and the Philippines. It is often an ingredient in dip for fish or vegetables. History The tradition to prepare shrimp, fish or seafood through fermentation is widespread in Southeast Asia, it can be found in maritime Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Brunei and the Philippines, to mainland Southeast Asia, Thailand, Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam, and southern China to a lesser extent. Fermented fish or seafood is an ancient tradition in Southeast Asia, a similar tradition is demonstrated by Cambodian prahak, which is quite similar to the shrimp paste. Nevertheless, the origin of shrimp paste seems to point to maritime Southeast Asia. According to Thai tradition, the origin of kapi, Thai fermented shrimp paste, can be traced to their southern territory. As far back as the 8th century, inhabitants of the coastal cities of Patani and Nakhon Si Tamarat, located in today's southern Thailand but then ruled by the Malay Kingdom of Srivijaya, used shrimp paste in their cooking. They shared this practice with people from other coastal nations in Southeast Asia, including regions now known as Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, Cambodia and Vietnam. After King Ramkumhang of Sukhothai occupied Patani in the 14th century, shrimp paste copy became available in Thai court, although it was reserved mainly for aristocrats. In 1666, copy was described by a Persian diplomat named Ibn Muhammad Ibrahim, in derogative manner as Rotten food unfit for cooking or eating. Copy is also described by Simone de Lelubert, a French diplomat appointed by King Louis XIV to the Royal Court of Siam in 1687. In one chapter, Concerning the Table of the Siamese, he wrote, Their sauces are plain, a little water with some spices, garlic, chilbowls, or some sweet herb, as balm. They do much esteem a liquid sauce, like mustard, which is only corrupted crayfish, because they are ill-salted, they called it C-A-P-I. In 1707, William Dampier described trasi, or tarasi, Indonesian shrimp paste, in his book, A New Voyage Round the World. A composition of a strong odor, but it became a very tasty meal for the indigenous people. Dampier described it further as a mixture of shrimp and small fish made into a kind of soft pickle with salt and water, and then the dough was packed tightly in a clay jar. The pickling process softens the fish and makes it mushy. Then they poured eric into the jars to preserve them. The mushy fish remains was called trasi. Dampier wrote, The aroma is very strong. However, after adding a little part of it, the dish's flavor became quite savory. In the 1880s, Trasi was described by Anna Forbes during her visit to Ambon. Anna was the wife of British naturalist Henry Og Forbes. The couple traveled through the Dutch East Indies in the 1880s. In her journal she describes the culture, customs and tradition of the natives, including their culinary tradition. Because of this foul-smelled ingredient, she accused her cook of trying to poison her and threw away that horrible rotten package. Later she wrote. Then, I observed each dish of the native or European, those that I have consumed since my arrival in the East contains this, the essence of that rotten stuff that has been used as a spice. Varieties Shrimp paste may vary in appearance from pale liquid sauces to solid chocolate-colored blocks. Shrimp paste produced in Hong Kong and Vietnam is typically a light pinkish gray, while the type used for Burmese, Lao, Cambodian, Thai and Indonesian cooking is darker brown. While all shrimp paste has a pungent aroma, the scent of higher grade shrimp paste is generally milder. Markets near villages producing shrimp paste are the best places to obtain the highest quality product. Shrimp paste varies between different Asian cultures and can vary in smell, texture and saltiness. Belican 
Belican, a Malay variety of shrimp paste, is prepared from small shrimp from the Asik species, known as garagao in Malaysia or Reban in Indonesia. In Malaysia, normally the krill are steamed first and after that are mashed into a paste and stored for several months. The fermented shrimp are then prepared, fried and hard-pressed into cakes. William Marsden, an English writer, included the word in his A Dictionary of the Malayan Language. Published in 1812, belican is used as an ingredient in many dishes. A common preparation is sambal belican, made by mixing toasted belican with chili peppers, minced garlic, shallot paste and sugar and then fried. Sometimes it is toasted to bring out the flavor, usually creating a strong, distinctive odor. Tarasi Tarasi, trasi in Dutch, an Indonesian, especially Javanese, variant of dried shrimp paste, is usually purchased in dark blocks, but is also sometimes sold ground as granulated coarse powder. The color and aroma of tarasi varies depending on which village produced it. The color ranges from a soft purple-reddish hue to darkish brown. In Siriban, a coastal city in West Java, tarasi is made from tiny shrimp, a seats, called riban, the origin of the city's name. Another kind is pettis made from shrimp or tuna mixed with palm sugar. In Sidorio, East Java, tarasi is made from the mixture of ingredients such as fish, small shrimp, udang, and vegetables. Tarasi is an important ingredient in sambal tarasi, also many other Indonesian cuisine, such as sayur asam, fresh sour vegetable soup, lotek, also called gado gado, Indonesian style salad in peanut sauce, karadik, similar to lotek, but the vegetables are served raw, and rujak, Indonesian style hot and spicy fruit salad. On the island of Lombok, Indonesia, a more savory and sweet shrimp paste called lengkari is made. Baguong Alamang Baguong Alamang, simply Baguong, or Janamos, in western Visayas, is Filipino for shrimp paste, made from the same aceets shrimp as in Indonesian and Malaysian variants, known in Filipino, Tagalog as Alamang, and is commonly eaten as a topping on green mangoes or used as a major cooking ingredient. Baguong paste varies in appearance, flavor, and spiciness depending on the type. Pink and salty baguong alamang is marketed as fresh and is essentially the shrimp salt mixture left to marinate for a few days. This baguong is rarely used in this form, save as a topping for unripe mangoes. The paste is customarily sautéed with various condiments, and its flavor can range from salty to spicy sweet. The color of the sauce will also vary with the cooking time and the ingredients used in the sautéing. Sinkalok is the Malaysian version of fresh. Baguong Alamang Unlike in other parts of Southeast Asia and in Western Visayas, where the shrimp is fermented beyond recognition or ground to a smooth consistency, the shrimp in Baguong Alamang, in many parts of the Philippines, is readily identifiable, and the sauce itself has a chunky consistency. A small amount of cooked or sautéed baguong is served on the side of a popular dish called Care Care, an oxtail stew made with peanuts. It is also used as the key flavoring ingredient of a sautéed pork dish, known as binagungan, lit. The, to which baguong is applied. The word baguong, however, is also connoted with the bonnet mouth and anchovy fish version, baguong terong. Copy in Thailand shrimp paste copy, copy IPA, copy, is an essential ingredient in many types of nam frik, spicy dips or sauces, and in all Thai curry pastes, such as the paste used in Kang Som. Very popular in Thailand is nam frik copy, a spicy condiment made with fresh shrimp paste and most often eaten together with fried pla2 short mackerel, and fried, steamed or raw vegetables. In southern Thailand there are three types of shrimp paste, one made only from shrimp, one containing a mixture of shrimp and fish ingredients, and another paste that is sweet. Nam Prik Meng Daa is available in Hat Yai and Saddle Markets. Meng is a night-flying bug and its body fluids are pressed and mixed with. Kapi. Quite sweet. Nam Prik Makam. Is. Kapi. Mixed with tamarind, more sour. Mam Tom In Vietnam shrimp paste, Mam Tom, IPA, Mam Tom, can be hard or wet. It is usually mixed with sugar, kumquat and chili when used as a dipping sauce. 
Vietnamese people often use mam tom as a dipping sauce for boiled meat, fried tofu, dog meat, fried fish or for seasoning some soup dishes. Nappy ye A watery dip or condiment that is very popular in Myanmar, especially the Burmese and Karen ethnic groups. The nappy, either fish or shrimp, but mostly whole fish nappy is used, is boiled with onions, tomato, garlic, pepper and other spices. The result is a greenish-gray broth-like sauce, which makes its way to every Burmese dining table. Fresh, raw or blanched vegetables and fruits such as mint, cabbage, tomatoes, green mangoes, green apples, olives, chili, onions and garlic are dipped into the nappy ye and eaten. Sometimes, in less affluent families, nappy ye forms the main dish, and also the main source of protein. Hong Ha this Chinese shrimp paste is popular in southeastern China. This shrimp paste is lighter in color than many Southeast Asian varieties and is often used in pork, seafood and vegetable stir-fry dishes. The shrimp paste industry has historically been important in the Hong Kong region. Pettis Udang or Hei Ko Pettis Udang is black-colored shrimp paste in Indonesian and Malay. It is called hei ko in the Hokkien dialect, which means prawn paste. Pettis udang is a version of shrimp prawn paste used in Indonesia, Malaysia and Singapore. In Indonesia it is particularly popular in East Java. This thick black paste has a molasses-like consistency instead of the hard brick-like appearance of belican. It also tastes sweeter because of the added sugar. It is used to flavor common local street foods like papaya spring rolls, Assam laksa, chichung fan rice rolls and rajak salads, such as rujak singor and rujak pettis. In Indonesia, major producer of pettis are home industries in Sidorio, Pasaruan and Gresik area in East Java. Galmbo Galmbo is a dried shrimp paste used in Goa, India, particularly in the spicy sauce balchow. Seidel. In the Chittagong Hill Tracts, Bangladesh, shrimp paste is called seidel or nappy by the indigenous Juma people. They use it to make vegetable food, such as bamboo shoots curry. This bamboo shoot curry is a traditional food of the indigenous Juma people. They eat it in this way. First bamboo shoots are collected from the bamboo forest, then defoliated and boiled in water. Then boiling water is mixed with the shrimp paste. Some chili, garlic paste, salt, and flour are added to the shrimp paste mixed with water. The mixture is heated and, after a few minutes, put on the boiled bamboo shoots on the mixture while still heating. After some minutes, the food is ready to serve. Industry Shrimp paste continues to be made by fishing families in coastal villages. They sell it to vendors, middlemen or distributors who package it for resale to consumers. Shrimp paste is often known for the region it comes from since production techniques and quality vary from village to village. Some coastal regions in Indonesia such as Baganziapiapi in Riau, Indramayu and Siriban in West Java, and Sidorio in East Java, as well as villages such as Pulau Betong in Malaysia or Mawan Island in Hong Kong and in Lingayan Gulf, Pangasinan in the Philippines are well known for producing very fine quality shrimp paste. Preparation Preparation techniques can vary greatly, however, the following procedure is most common in China, and much of Southeast Asia. After being caught, small shrimp are unloaded, rinsed and drained before being dried. Drying can be done on plastic mats on the ground in the sun, on metal beds on low stilts, or using other methods. After several days, the shrimp-salt mixture will darken and turn into a thick pulp. If the shrimp used to produce the paste were small, it is ready to be served as soon as the individual shrimp have broken down beyond recognition. If the shrimp are larger, fermentation will take longer and the pulp will be ground to provide a smoother consistency. The fermentation, grinding process is usually repeated several times until the paste fully matures. The paste is then dried and cut into bricks by the villagers to be sold. Dried shrimp paste does not require refrigeration. Availability Shrimp paste can be found in nations outside Southeast Asia in markets catering to Asian customers. 
In the Netherlands, Indonesian type of shrimp paste can be found in supermarkets selling Asian foodstuffs such as Trasia Dang from the Konamex brand. In the United States brands of Thai shrimp paste such as Pantanoracing and Tra Chong can be found. Shrimp pastes from other countries are also available in Asian supermarkets and through mail order. It is also readily available in Suriname due to the high concentration of Javanese inhabitants. In Australia shrimp paste can be found in most suburbs where Southeast Asian people reside. See also References External links Thai Shrimp Paste Kasma Loha Unchit in Dancing Shrimp, Favorite Thai Recipes for Seafood